Welcome to the Dynon Channel, your video source for information, education, and training on Dynon Avionics industry leading line of integrated avionics for experimental amateur built and light sport aircraft. Today's topic Skyview System Selecting a Source for the HSI Course Needle. In this video, I'd like to talk about a very common question by new users of the Skyview system, and that is how to get a needle to show on Skyview's HSI. Skyview has an, an electronic HSI, but it's an integrated with the directional gyro, and you see the directional gyro here on my primary flight display. Currently, there's no HSI showing, no needle showing, because I haven't selected a source to drive that needle. Now, because the HSI is part of the the primary flight display, the buttons for controlling the HSI are accessed under the PFD menu, which is button 1 on the Skyview system, labeled PFD. I'm going to press button 1 now. Now on this menu, notice that under button 5, you see a label called HSI Source. That button controls essentially a rotary switch, which will se sequence through all available navigation sources in the airplane. Now, almost all users of Skyview have a built-in VFR GPS navigator. That's the Skyview flight plan. Uh, to have that accessible, you must have purchased the Skyview navigation mapping software license. And again, almost all pilots do that because it's such a great system to use. I'm going to press button 5, HSI source, and watch what happens. Here on my uh, directional gyro, a needle has appeared. So now I have an HSI needle, an active course needle. Notice the data block to the right. This data block identifies our source for that information. It says Skyview is the name of the GPS navigator that's providing this data. Distance to my next waypoint is 32 miles, and my waypoint is KBLI, which is Bellingham. And now notice both the needle and the data block itself are colored magenta. In the Skyview system, magenta color denotes a GPS source of information. Uh, if it were a nav source from a VOR nav radio, the needle would instead turn green. Now I mentioned that the HSI source button is, is a, essentially a rotary switch. It, if I keep pushing that button, it's going to select other navigation sources in the airplane. And in this airplane, we have an external panel mounted GPS. Let me press the HSI source button and we'll see what happens. Ah, notice the data block changes to say I'm now looking for information from GPS 1 but there's no distance information and there's no waypoint identified. And also notice there's no needle on the HSI. I've selected the GPS-1 external GPS navigator as the source for my needle, but there's no active waypoint or no active flight plan in that navigator, and thus there still is no course needle. Uh, that's a common occurrence. Uh, so if you see a data block, you have to now look to that navigator to define an active waypoint. When you do that, your needle would appear. Now let's see what happens when I press the HSI source button again. In our airplane, we have also have a nav radio. Notice, ah, the needle turns green. Again, that denotes a VOR nav or localizer source. Notice my data block says LOC1. That tells me my nav radio is tuned to a localizer frequency, and it gives me the frequency it's tuned to. You can see I have an active needle, and uh, I'm way off course for that localizer. If I press the HSI source again in my plane, all data disappears. The needle's gone and there's no data block. So now my HSI is unassigned. There's no source designated for giving information to my HSI. And of course, I can just keep pushing that button over and over and it'll continue to cycle through those sources. Now, I'm going to restore my HSI source to the Skyview GPS. I have my needle back. Most users of Skyview, especially VFR pilots, may only have the Skyview system navigator and no other source. If that's the case, once you select Skyview as your source for your HSI needle, you'll never need to push this button again, because every time you shut down Skyview and then start it up for the next flight, it'll remember this setting. So you never need to press this HSI source button again unless either you want to select another source or for some reason you want to remove the HSI needle from your, from your directional gyro. So that's all there is to controlling the HSI needle on Skyview. Uh, there are two additional bearing needles available. Those are relative bearing sources that also can be added to the HSI. But use of those other needles will be covered in a separate video in this series.
For more information on planning or capabilities of the Skyview system, please see our website at dynonavionics.com, where you can find links to our system installation guides, pilot user guides, and other valuable information like our user form. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel.